Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Ash vs. Evil Dead. What do you know about this TV show? We're getting Ash back from the Evil Dead. Yes. <laughs> we watched the three movies, the trilogy, on the channel earlier this year. Loved it. They were very different, each of the films, from each other. Yeah, the second one started off as kind of like a repeat of the first one for a little bit, I think for like legal reasons. I think actually all three movies were technically produced by a different company. That's why they're slightly different or very different. Yeah, the first one was very gross, but I had a great time with that one. Yeah. Uh, the second one was kind of like a middle ground between scary and comedy. And then the third one leaned more into the comedy. Yeah, so I'm interested to see where this falls on the horror comedy spectrum for the show. Ash is obviously a very lovable and iconic character. Super iconic. He's very um, like loud, I guess. He's got a huge personality. Yeah, he's just a lot of fun. And he just seems kind of out of place regardless of where he was, <laughs> no matter what time, I that's, guess it was. That's true. I'm just really interested to see kind of where where this is gonna go like time wise does this take place i guess then after all of the movies i think it does take place after the events of the third one because i think we were told to make sure we watch the theatrical cut of the third one because the ending of that one aligns with the tv show i could be wrong but i think that's what the goal was okay so i think it does take place however long after the events of the third one i think it's going to be cool the jump in just technology in terms of the filmmaking aspect or the practical effects, the CGI. They were so good at doing such gross stuff with a low budget mm -hmm. in the original trilogy that I can't wait to see what kind of crazy shit they come up with now. And I think this is also a very popular show. I think it just unfortunately didn't find its audience until it was already gone. Uh, but I've heard only amazing things about this show. Is Sam Raimi involved in this? I think Sam Raimi produced it, I okay. believe. Maybe he even wrote or directed some, but I think he is involved. Okay, that's even better. Yeah. So I'm really excited. No idea really what we're getting into since the movies were so different. Yeah. Um, and we will be watching the remake. Yeah, we'll probably do the remake after we finish the show, I would assume. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So we'll definitely squeeze it in. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episodes. Okay, trailer life. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> it's like a girdle or whatever. All right. Great diet, exercise, <laughs> magnum condoms. Okay, so no chainsaw. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, the metal glove. <laughs> Was that good? No. <laughs> Send me down a Moscow mule and two of whatever the lady sent him. It's Rosewood. You know, people always say you shouldn't put your hand in front of a speeding train. Sometimes there's an eight-year-old boy stuck on the tracks. Wow. In a lot of ways, he saved me. <laughs> 30 years ago to this day. Honored every year by getting blackout drunk. <laughs> All right, Ash. <laughs> Don't give her a splinter. <laughs> Holy fuck. What the fuck? What happened? I was so close. Oh. Scared the shit out of me. I got a jet. <clears throat> really? Could finish, but I gotta be quick. <laughs> right back into action. That was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that was hardcore. Okay, so he hasn't seen anything like that in 30 years. Man, is that how long the Army of Darkness was? 30 years? Oh, what? <sighs> there you are. How'd you get in there? Uh-oh. Who opened this? It ain't French, but... Uh... Oh my <laughs> god, Ash. <laughs> I got a little something for you. You high son of a bitch. Try this piece of poetry. It'll blow your mind. Kunda. <laughs> oh no, Ash. Miss Sartre. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh man, back to the demon cam. I love those forest shots. Yeah. Man, I gotta be ready for it to be pretty scary after that first jump scare. I was kind of expecting a shit show. What's that? Someone's still screaming. Take the front. State police, anyone here? <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, right? Man, even the creepy trees. <laughs> that was like a slow scare, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, Carson's fucked and so are we. That's <laughs> scary. It like slowly showed it to us. Something's not right here. <laughs> Oh. oh fuck. Oh my god, what is this show? Yeah, get ready to shoot. Ma'am? Ma'am? There's no way that's a ma'am. Oh. oh. I'm gonna need you to put your was hands up. Was that the girl that he up. was smoking with? You need to do what he says, lady. Oh, smoking with? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the tattoo. I think she's already possessed. <laughs> no! <laughs> shoot! Fucking shoot her! Oh! <laughs> Terrible cops. Oh, fuck! Oh, just like the light going through her bullet holes. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> no! Oh, shit! Oh, I like that guy. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no. This is. Oh, God. <laughs> Carson, where the hell are you? Oh, he's on the roof. <laughs> or ceiling. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. I thought she was done for. <laughs> oh, don't trust it. Classic demon prank. Me. Please. Oh, this fucking turning flashlight. Me. She gonna know this is fake? Shoot! Oh. His eyeballs literally. Did they? I was flew focusing out of his face. On the blood coming out of his mouth. Holy shit! That was so intense. What have we gotten into? I don't know. If every episode's like that, we're in trouble. We chatted about a particular book. It was uh, Bound in Human Flesh, Inked in Blood. <laughs> Morning, Vivian. Oh, I don't trust Vivian. Some things have come up. Why? I don't know. Look at her. Seems like a nice neighbor. No. Tidy up my trailer while I'm gone? No heavy lifting, of course. Oil up the hitch, make sure it's ready to go, and drain the wastewater tank. Sweet little method. <laughs> oh, I like her. You said you didn't like her. I like her now, but she has the facial structure for a demon. Uh. She already a demon? Oh, fuck. I thought it would happen later. <laughs> Your time comes again. <sighs> I'll just get my check, and I'll be in Saginaw before nightfall. Dear friend Eli is sick, so I gotta take off early. Now you stop. Are you really gonna use your fucking lizard as an excuse to get out of work again? <laughs> now take these light bulbs out back and don't break it. Right away, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this is so loud. I got this. 
Ah, oh, thanks, Pablo. I may have to skip town. You can't leave. You're like the coolest thing about this place. That's very true. <laughs> hey, man, tell me what's up. Maybe I can help. Ghost problem? Your tiny brain is a lot safer without my problems inside. Uh, Jesus, that's your friend? Oh, she's filthy. She's very attractive, I know. <laughs> Just wanted to say I'm sorry. I have to leave you so soon. I don't even know you. <laughs> you never will, which is fine, because you really never could have had me anyway. I'm old, graying, 10 pounds overweight. 10. <laughs> Thank your mother for me. You passed her jeans down to you in all the right places. Mother died in a car accident six months ago. Oh. You might want to just say, sure, I'll tell her. <laughs> Dropping a bomb like that on somebody you just met is downright rude. <laughs> You're young. You'll figure it out. Bye forever, Kelly. <laughs> Touch me again, and you're going to need another wooden hand. In place of my real hand? <laughs> my wooden hand. Your real hand! Ah! I like Kelly. Yeah. Touchy. I like uh, Pablo, too. Yeah, me too. I can't imagine what you're going through, but you'll be back to work before you know it. If I can clear an internal affairs, homicide inquest. Yeah, killing her partner. Are they still coming for her? Oh, a little kid? Are you all right? Just thought I saw something. Sometimes what you think you saw, exactly what you saw. She looks super familiar. Yeah, is she in the, from the first one? Or from the movies? I don't think so. I think that's, um, Xena? The warrior princess? Yeah. Hey, William! Bring those bones back here! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find another box! Hey! Uh oh coming for him? <laughs> Who's there? Oh, oh so many dolls. dolls! Oh, it's already moving! At least Ash has a ton of experience with this. <laughs> Just rip her off. Oh, oh shit. damn. Oh, not the box cutter. that. <laughs> oh, Pablo's gonna be the best partner. <laughs> 30 years ago, my friends and I spent the night at a cabin. Found a book. The Book of the Dead. This is cool. Possessed my friends. Oh, the milk. I was the only one to escape. The past 30 years, I've been hiding out. Read from that book. One lousy time evil has found me. One man would rise to stand against it. I think it's you, Ash. You got the wrong guy. I don't know if you're gonna have a choice, Ash. That's where I was last night. Don't you see that it's happening all around you? You got the wrong halfway, Chief. Or maybe you just gotta finish what you started. Let it choose somebody else now. His tooth. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? You're cutting in and out. Oh my god. Someone's there. Who? Really? Yeah. She's here. That, who? Who is there? They're gone. She's here. Dad? Dad? What the fuck? My mother. She died. Oh yeah, but she died six months ago. Start the bike. I'm right behind you. This is another demon ready to happen. Oh! Sorry, man. Are you kidding? You can't help with anything. I'm just about to haul noogies. Oh, the just dentures in general? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, shit. Man, this whole town is fucked. Oh. I love the sound. Come on, Ash. Ash, do something, please! You know it's your destiny. Help me, please. <laughs> oh, what Damn, a he had a lot of trust. <laughs> I thought it was gonna hit Pablo. Jeez. Oh, they're coming in all right. I'm 
me should have taught you to knock. <laughs> oh! Thought I could hide. What a joke. Who are you? <laughs> you seem so... Oh, no! Oh, it's Pablo. <laughs> I told you it would cross your mind. First thing I gotta do is see a guy about a book. The other first thing I gotta do is some cardio, because my heart is <laughs> jackhammering like a quarterback on prom night. A whole lot more people will die if I don't get to the bottom of what's in this little baby. This ain't a charity. Aww. Come on, Ash. Oh. The arm. Oh, fuck. Vivian. Ah! <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, damn, Pablo. Come on, Ash. Get it on. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. shit. Fucking old thing. Damn. Nice, Kelly. Ash, wake up, Epi. Ash. Ash. Oh. Just wanna put these through your eyes. Ash, Ash, take the knife out, man. <laughs> it's like flying. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. Hope you took a geritol. Oh God, there's so much blood in this show. No more running. It's good to see you, Hefe. It's good to be back. How does it feel? Groovy. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I did not even see that coming. That was so good. That was so good. I didn't know what to expect, but that was fucking amazing. That, my friends, is how we do it. This is all me, baby. Very humble. <laughs> Get used to it. What if we stop at Kelly's on the way to get your book looked at? It's a win-win. Sorry, no can do. Come on, Ash. Trying to save all the dads everywhere, and the mommies and the babies. Mm -hmm. This show does not stop for one second. No. Ooh. Who could this be? I think he killed all his neighbors. Oh, it's the fucking manager. Mm. You can't go back there alone. She take the book with her. I tried to get her to stop, but she wouldn't listen to me. It's not a very PC thing to say these days, but uh, chicks are like that. <laughs> take care of the book. Catch on the flip flop. About the book. Yeah, force him. She grabbed it on her way out. I guess she thinks it's going to help her with her mom. I can take you to her dad's. All right, wipe your feet and get in. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> They're covered in blood. Where'd that guy go? Oh, he might be still in the car. Moms don't just come back to life. Kelly's old lady's walking around. I'm probably gonna have to cut her head off. <laughs> For your first time, you did great. Most folks just end up dead. Oh, he's all clean. Yeah, it's true. Once you get jacked in the face, it's all clear. I didn't even get my nut up to rumble unless I've had a good shot to the chin. <laughs> This mug is basically mint condition. <laughs> <laughs> it's great music. I've always hated you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, just biting the wood. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. Hey, he got hit in the head. Oh, so much blood. <laughs> this is not getting on YouTube. You never defeat evil. Thanks for the heads up. Oh. <laughs> it's 
so much for wiping clean. Poor Pablo. Is this what it's like to be you? Pretty much. They were killed by boss before, so that was new. <laughs> That was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. I thought I was dead. Thanks for the heads oh. up. Did he mean it like that? It's the hefe. Of course he did. <laughs> the hefe. <laughs> ah, bingo. Here we go. <laughs> A little wipe. Thanks. I like how he took his home with him. <laughs> A lot of death around here lately. Yeah, more than we've ever had. Oh. Sometimes The card. Last one he brought back? Some girl with a skanky wrist tattoo. Oh! Voodoo stuff from inside that crappy trailer. She has a good lead. Mm-hmm. What a pretty house. Yeah. It's about to be covered in blood. Well, it's cozy. Mm-hmm. It's a motorcycle there? Something seems very wrong here. It always does. Here's the plan. Fight through the carnage. We bail with the book. Let the boomstick do the talking. Things get hairy, use your bottle. <laughs> I don't think it's a very good weapon, Hefe. You had to stab Roper like 50 times. <laughs> si se puede, si se puede. <laughs> Take anything, but you will not touch my family. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, hi, Kelly. You're okay. Why are you covered in blood? We hit a deer on the way up here. <laughs> Bloated all over it, so we had to cut it up with my chainsaw. Arm. Never seen a deer explode. <laughs> well, maybe you're not hunting the right deer. <laughs> you just excuse us for one second. Is that her mom? Like, yeah, it's gotta be. So what happened to her? She was living in a homeless shelter in Ohio with amnesia. No. Pretty convenient timing. Okay. This has nothing to do with that. Mm -mm. Something seems too good to be true. It probably is. Uh, this <gasps> is Ash. You used to be dead, right? <laughs> I went over a guardrail and then nothing for months. We never gave up hope. There's like weird sound going on too. I don't know what game you're playing, but I want my book and I want it now. Pretty accurate. Bigger chin. He looks way dumber in real life, but that is very close. Are you the one behind all this? Can't even blame him now? Well, I guess he's kind of to blame. <laughs> yeah, he did read it. <laughs> she got what she needed. Yeah. There's no way that she's alive. Oh, uh, hold on. <laughs> it's a brain. Uh, so, <laughs> forgive me, but... <laughs> I got a small confession. He had the book the whole time. I took your book. Oh shit, I didn't even realize that. I knew you wouldn't help Kelly unless you thought she had it. You know, I trusted you, Pablo. You don't believe mom's horseshit story, do you? She's a deadite. I kind of believe mom. Mm-mm. They can disguise themselves as human and just when you're comfortable. That was bad timing. Trying to reel in the bigger fish. Bait fish to catch the whale. I'm the whale, Pablo. Yeah. And Kelly. She's the bait. I think she's a real mom. Be polite in there. Oh, I'll be polite. Right up until I'm rude. <laughs> My mom's back and... The chainsaw's just sitting up there? Just in case. Take off your gun. Put it over there with oh, your chainsaw. Oh, what is this meat? I feel like he imagined that. I made your favorite. Well, you know, for somebody who recently lost their memory, yours is pretty good. So what are your plans, mom? Camera's getting shaky. I'm sorry. You were saying. That's stomach noises? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Lady? He's imagining it though. Oh, I'm an English teacher. Well, great. Ten. What's your favorite book? The Old Man in the Sea. So you like fishing? I like fishing. This ain't about you, Dad. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. This fly. Can we get back to dinner or um, did you have some more questions for me? Nah. Well, actually, just one more. Oh, oh shit! No. Honey, holy shit. Mom! You coming to our house? Oh, no. He was right. Oh, good. I was starting to feel like a real dick. <laughs> uh oh. Dude. Don't touch it. It's not your wife. Oh. Let's tango, bitch. <laughs> oh, 
sick camera work. Oh, you only have two shots, dummy. Oh, oh no! Where'd she go? You two gotta start helping out here. I'm okay. Kelly. Where's Kelly? Nope. <laughs> Why was it shaking? Is she on the ceiling? Oh, she totally is. Oh, no, she's just right there. No, it's not your mom. What is happening? Fuck. God. I don't know what's going on. To help you. You left dinner before daddy excused you. <laughs> she's fighting it. We can save her. It's too late for saving. I drove up that bridge on purpose. To get away from you. Oh, fuck. Now the three of you will perish together. Yeah, well, your cooking was shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it, Ash. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. You two, help. Oh, fuck, Pablo. Good shit. She has a knife. Time to die. You got that knife. Oh. Oh, <laughs> they just get showered in blood. <laughs> Why is this so slow? <laughs> they have to take like seven showers a day. <laughs> it's any consolation. I have had to kill and bury loved ones before. <laughs> I hate whatever did this. That was my takeaway too. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> Sometimes the whale needs his bait fish to remind him of where he is in the ocean. <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Pablo. Kind of like a young me. Dead ice ruined your life and you're hot as hell. <laughs> you know they were Jewish, right? I, I did not. Wish it could have said something before I made those dumb crosses, but... Okay. It's following you. Okay. All right. That was episode one and two of Ash vs. Evil Dead. What'd you think? I loved that. That was so incredible. Like... I heard great things about it. We were going in, obviously we saw all of the Evil Dead, we were excited about it, but this was just like so much better than anything I could have imagined. Yeah, it's perfect. I don't think that there's anything else that I would have wanted out of that. No. I think it is the perfect combination of comedy and gore and jump scares and ash yeah i don't think i could say enough good things about this i mean it was hysterical yeah it scared the shit out of us yep it is non-stop i mean th yeah this is action-packed quick blood guts just keep it moving jokes i love all of the characters obviously ash is such an iconic character you always love ash even though he's an asshole sometimes but he's like a charming asshole but pablo and kelly are yeah. amazing love them i love this whole uh other storyline with the cop i forgot her name but yeah carson was the guy i think yeah but i really enjoy her aspect because it's almost like the ash and pablo and kelly like that's your evil dead right there. And then the cop, it seems more real. Yeah. It's like someone on the outside who has no clue what's going on. Yeah. You just are experiencing both sides of it. It's incredible. Yeah, no, they've done such a good job of like reviving it. Obviously the storyline and Ash, like it's a ton of connections with the films, but introducing these new characters, like you said, with this other cop coming in, it's just such a strong start to the series. Yeah, I mean, if it's relatively the same as these first two episodes for all three seasons, I know that this show was canceled. I just don't think it had its audience on stars now that it's on Netflix. I don't know if it'll get a resurgence or if it's just kind of done, but if the quality is like this for three seasons and we get to the end of that third season, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. 
<laughs> that there's no more Ash vs. Evil Dead. If it can hold up to these first two episodes, um, we saw that the first episode was directed by Sam Raimi. Maybe we'll get more throughout the series. The second episode was not, but he's involved. He's a writer, producer on this. So I have really high hopes. I honestly, like my cheeks hurt. Yeah. That was so good. This somehow made me like the Evil Dead trilogy more than I already did. Yes. I agree. I think when we watched the films, I may have said, may not have said, I think that I liked the films in the order that we watched them. The first is my favorite. I thought you did one, three, two. Is that what I did? Okay. Because I think I have the same as you. I think we both surprisingly actually liked the first one the most. Yes. And then the Army of Darkness one, which is like the medieval one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. I think I was afraid of the comedy elements in this one. Not that the second film wasn't good. It just wasn't my favorite of the three. Right. So I was a little bit worried if I wasn't going to like find it as funny if they went with like the comedy element of it. Yeah, because as we said, I think in the intro, the first one is very much a horror movie. Yes. The third one is very much like a comedy movie. And the second one is the one that tried to do both. Yeah. And I think that one falls in last place for us. Yeah. And I think we were thinking that this was gonna be similar to that movie. Yeah. So that's where like the hesitation came in where it's like, is this gonna be able to nail the comedy and the horror? And it, this is just so incredible. I mean, I just loved every, I, I wanna just keep watching right now. Yeah, no, this is so good. And, and it's not that we didn't like the second, I wanna be like very clear about that because <laughs> we yeah. did like all three films. Yeah, you're just ranking them just against those three other, against amongst, each other. Yeah. Right. But this is like my favorite out of anything so far. Yeah. <laughs> like I this, I rank this above the movies. I may be already. Like that's how amazing these first two episodes were. Yeah. Like this is my favorite Ash content. Yeah. Like he is just still Ash, still peak humor, that like brash charisma guy. And I think when we put this on the schedule, I want to say that we got a comment compared Ash to Johnny Lawrence. Oh, Cobra Kai. okay, yeah. I feel like Johnny's doing it on accident sometimes. Yeah. Like Johnny is just not fully aware of some of the stuff that he says. Yeah. Whereas Ash is just, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, no, Ash is definitely like the asshole. Uh, whereas I don't want to say Johnny's like ignorant, but no, I can't think of a better word than yeah. that, but it's like ignorant in a funny, nice way. Yeah, not purposely. So it's just funny to see those like little like tie-ins, just the asshole Ash in it. Yeah. But then we're still getting like the good parts of Ash as well, where like he did decide not totally by his choice to go help Kelly. He thought she had the book, which is mostly why he went, but I think he also did feel kind of bad. Yeah, and then at the end too, he was like, no, thank you for like doing this. Like I needed the reminder of who I am and stuff. Yeah, I mean, even though he made that about himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I mean, Ash is just such a phenomenal character. Yeah, I mean, he's iconic. Yeah. But he feels like Ash from the Evil Dead yes. trilogy. Yeah. So it's like he picked up right where he left off. Yeah. Action wise, amazing. Like obviously Sam Raimi did the first one, but the camera work of like the demon cam and how uh, like it would rush really quickly to the trailer and then yeah. it would cut inside the trailer. It's like all like weird, awkward angles. Everyone's like flailing around. Yeah. Like that's constant through the Evil Dead trilogy. Yeah. The look of everything. Yes. Like the only thing that was wonky with like the CGI was like the little doll. But even that, like, I still enjoyed how it looked. Like, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't take me out of it or anything. No. Like, I really loved it. But everything else was, like, terrifying. Yeah. The dolls thing was funny, too. In YouTube time, we'll be watching Child's Ch Play. Oh, yeah, Child's Play. Next week. Yeah. Um, but we did already watch it. So I feel like that was some, like, some, uh, chunky flesh. Yeah, right? We've, we've had a lot of doll action. <laughs> I'm not wanting any more from the series than I, what I just got. I just want more of exactly that. Yeah, just give us as much of this as possible and I'll eat it all up. Yeah, but like you said, I think they did a great job, like obviously it being Sam Raimi again and bringing back Bruce Campbell. They just did such a good job starting the series on such a strong note and the connection to the Evil Dead trilogy. Oh yeah, some of the highlights for me uh, from the first episode for sure 
obviously just the level of gore, but inside that house with the two cops, that was like legitimately terrifying. That was very scary. There was so much just perfect setup with yeah. like the person standing up with the, the sheet over them, yeah. Carson turning into another deadite. But then like turning back into himself. Yeah, going back to that, yeah. which is classic from the other Evil Dead and having like the flashlight cir like circling on the ground reveal him like every yes. few seconds. Yeah, so clever. Obviously Sam Raimi is a, like a genius director. Everything that they do with it, the sound, the lighting, the camera angles, like all of it is just so good and so high quality for a television show. Oh yeah. And the gore is just off the charts. Sometimes gore could be just too disgusting to like look at. It goes all in, but it's done differently where you can watch it and still have like, I don't know, maybe I'm just a psychopath or something, but I also have like a smile on my face with all this shit going on. Yeah, I know you sound like a psycho. <laughs> But it's, it's like a difference between like this and like a Saw movie or something where it's just the gore is like, oh, it makes you uncomfortable. This is just so like fun and how they set everything up. And so I guess campy is maybe the best word. Yeah. I so agree. it just has that great classic feeling that you kind of had specifically probably with either Evil Dead 2 or 3. Yeah. I also like that they don't like skirt past the fact that it's been like 30 some odd years um, <laughs> for Ash. I mean, they're, they talk about his putting on some weight, um, about his like gray hair. His just, dentures. Yeah, oh, the dentures, <laughs> oh my God. Just like the aging in general, I like that they like kind of throw that in too because I'm sure, you know, Bruce Campbell also is not as young as he was when he was filming the originals. Yeah. So I'm sure some of the stuff that he's going to get into throughout this series is going to be rough on <laughs> Bruce Campbell and Ash. Right. So I think that's cool that you get kind of get that little reminder. If you had seen these movies and grew up with them, I'm sure you maybe wouldn't really need that because it's been that amount of time maybe since you saw them in theaters or whatever. But for us, like we only saw these earlier this year. Right. So it's cool that there's like that kind of reminder like hey time has passed 30 years later yeah i love that line where he's like all right first thing i gotta do some cardio because my heart is jack hammering like a quarterback on prom night or something <laughs> there's so many amazing lines yes. in this. i can't yeah. even think but that could be like a 30 minute outro discussion just talking about all the one-liners yeah and as far as the story i think it's really engaging i mean they have a mission. They have to translate this book again and figure out what to say to kind of reverse all of this if they ever do. But like I said, you have the two different storylines kind of. You have Ash and then the cop. Yeah. Um, and I want to say that was like Xena Princess Warrior or whatever for like half a second. I don't know what the hell that was about. Yeah. I, I'm sure it's going to come into play later, but I'm going to have to look up. I haven't seen Xena since I was a kid. You're right. Yeah. I just, when I was a kid. Yeah. But I don't want to look anything up for any spoilers or anything like that. So maybe we'll just keep the show going and see what happens. Yeah, that's true. Or let us know in the comments. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if that was who we thought that was. Yeah. Um, but no, this was so much fun. I loved every second of it. Yeah, me too. I could go on and on about it, but I won't. I'm really looking forward to the next episodes. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.